I have had my share of cheap men. And cheap men are like cheap clothes. They're slightly irregular, don't quite fit right, prone to shrinkage, or in need of a major alteration. And sometimes they give you a rash. <laughs> Just one step too far. Yes. But that mentality can get you in trouble, ladies. Oh my God. You go for the bargain, man. Like, I once went out with an Indian guy because I saw the red dot in his head. And I was like, he's on sale. I have to have him. <laughs> I got talked to into a three-way. Yes, I did. I was like, okay, two for ones. <laughs> the pants are half off. <laughs> cool. But then I thought, okay, let me find my soulmate. So let me leave it up to eHarmony. <laughs> Have any of you tried this? No? Oh my God, okay. Hunt, there's a questionnaire, hundreds of questions. There's essay questions. I'm filling it out thinking, okay, this is taking longer than most relationships I've ever been in. <laughs> but their thing is, if they get to know you intimately, that they will find your soulmate. And it really does work, because they hooked me, up, hooked me up with a chick from New York named Stella. <laughs> Oh my God. So, yeah, um, you would think in a society we, where we're so obsessed with breasts that we would have a cure for breast cancer. Huh. Right? <laughs> uh-huh. Because we got three boner pills. Three. <laughs> yeah. You know what will get a cure for breast cancer? When there's fake breast cancer. I recently did a uh, benefit, and Fran Drescher was the speaker, and she was talking about, out, about prevention. She's like, with these two fingers, you can feel yourself up. Not only are you protecting yourself from breast cancer, but you're also giving yourself another good reason you don't need men. <laughs> so please, support breast cancer research, because if you know there's Answer, there'd be a cure tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>